Okay, quick video. I got a Sawzall. Had a bad switch. It was broken. I tried to repair it. I got it back together. Okay, it looks like it might actually have held up. You can't buy these switches for this old craftsman reciprocating saw. So, I decided I'd have to do something to get it working. So, I don't know if you can see down in there. Uh, let me get a flashlight. The way the switch works, you can see that moving in there. As you pull the trigger from the side, the center piece pulls up. Okay, that's how the switch operates inside. Then you have these two halves. There's another one of these. And they go down inside here and make contact with these sliders. Okay. So, down inside that, that's a normal switch. Okay, but it's not just a switch. Inside of it was a small circuit board. This circuit board. Alright, and a variable resistor, a linear resistor that was down in there. And a little slider, so that it was like a volume control. It would regulate... The speed. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on there, huh? So, since I couldn't get that all functioning really well, I, I don't know why. It just wouldn't make good contact, even after I cleaned everything up. So, I decided to just go ahead, take the circuit board out, retrace where this resistor went, found out that it went into the circuit like this. I took another resistor after I measured this with an ohmmeter. I come out to a hundred thousand ohms, put another hundred thousand ohm variable resistor in, soldered all the lines. Okay, once I figured out how it was. Alright, then I bought me a new switch. Hang on, guineas are making noise. Let me see what's going on. Okay, so I took a guess by knowing what this looked like and I saw online looking for switches for other Sawzalls and Milwaukee's and whatnot um, I found this switch that looked pretty similar and guess what the holes line up it's a little bit longer but it's not a big deal there's plenty of room in here for it so now I got a switch click on click off so now I redid the circuit. I'm going to insulate this, tuck it in there, and just use this for on and off and leave it on one speed, which I chose, that seems to be pretty good for running a Sawzall. Not too fast, not too slow, just right. So anyway, that's what I did. I had to tear that whole circuit board out and re-solder the wires, put the resistor in, and now I could just hook it up to the switch and it's another repair done. Took something that was useless because you can't buy the switch anymore and turned it into a working item again. And I've already had it hooked up. It does work. Okay, I doubled up the wires on the switch. I'll do the same on the bottom. And that way there's two sliders in there and I'll utilize both of them at the same time and hopefully keep the arcing down and make this switch last many more years of use. But yeah, just double it over. Real simple. Okay, there it is. You can see that screw fits perfectly <laughs> along with this peg right here. And it sets right in where the other one did. 
It's a little bit longer. I think the other one was about that long. But it still fits in here before that separator. There you go. That's it. That's all you got to do. Easy fix. Don't panic. Well, you'll never guess what happened. Or maybe you will. Uh, <laughs> the last two switches I had like this had the contacts moving straight up and down so you had a connection up here and a connection up here that when the slider went down it connected to both of them then you had one on either side right there this one doesn't do that it has a switch here and a switch there so <laughs> yeah it didn't work um, let me go ahead and plug this in and show you that it works. There it is. It's functional. That's it. I'll redo this input wire and we're good to go. Another job. All done. See, no need to panic. Just fix it. Okay. Well, all done. Works. I disconnected the high-low switch. It doesn't get used anymore. And there it is. On off. Works fine. Saved a ton of money right there. Ton of money. Okay, this thing's rated for 6 amp max. Now that I redid that, have the circuit set in there with a lower speed than maximum. We'll see what it draws on amps. About 3.2. Not bad.